All right, so uh, we're still having an overview on mutation. So this one we'll be talking about X-linked disorders. So if they say a mutation is X-linked, what do they actually mean by that? If they say a mutation is X-linked, what do they mean by that? All right, so for the X-linked disorders, Okay, we said that all sex-linked disorders are X-linked and almost all are recessive. Okay, so several genes are located in the male-specific region of Y. All of these are related to what? Spermatogenesis. Alright, so males with mutation affecting the Y-linked genes are usually infertile because something is affecting what could have made sperm for you. So hence, there is no Y-linked inheritance. Do you understand? Because the male is infertile. He cannot even give birth to people to even inherit that Y problem. You get it? So, but for females now, they usually have two X. So even if one X is affected, the other one is still there. You understand? So this accounts for a small number of well-defined clinical conditions. Now the Y chromosomes for the most part is not homologous to the X and so mutant genes on the X do not have corresponding alleles on the Y. So thus the male is said to be what hemizygous for X-linked mutant genes. So these disorders are expressed in males because just look at this. The male has only XY you understand so xy now that's basically one x one y you get so for one x one y now once this x is affected that's all that's why males are usually affected with this so for females before they can be affected by an x-linked condition is when the two x are basically affected okay <coughs> 